Hello, this is Adit from Moment Science. This is a really special video for me because I've reached 10,000 subscribers. I would have never thought this is possible. And for this, I would really want to thank you guys because it's your support that got me here. And also I would like to really thank my family, mom, dad and my brother who have been always constant support. So since we have reached the 10K mark, I have something new for you guys. I'll make my content digitally. So it'll be much more systematic and also I'll try to make it more engaging by being in the frame more. So hope that works out and let me know what you feel about this in the comment section below. Thank you so much again for all your love and support and let's get started. So in this video we are going to talk about the flexor mechanism and also the annular pulley. So flexor mechanism we covered in the last part right and what we were talking about there we were saying that the flexor tendons which are there they are supported by different structures and that's what the flexor mechanism was all about how the flexion happens with help of flexor tendons but also with help of all the adjacent structures which help the tendon glide smoothly and keep it in place. So one structure that keeps it in place is the annular pulley and this video will be focused on that and also along with that we will be talking about the function of the annular pulley. So coming to the annular pulley it is also called as the vaginal ligament and there are A1, A2, A3, A4 and A5 total 5 annular pulleys. So these are the main five annular pulleys and also a recently found one more is the palmar aponeurosis pulley okay now these anatomically they vary a bit here and there but this is what is seen in general so that is a1 pulley is seen at the head of the metacarpal over here a1 pulley head of the metacarpal is over here right so it is seen over there palmar aponeurosis pulley is proximal to a1 pulley it is not mentioned over here but it's somewhere over here then there is your A2 that is present in the mid shaft of the proximal phalanx. This is your proximal phalanx and mid shaft is somewhere here, right? So that is the A2 pulley. Then there is the A3 pulley which is present at the distal part of proximal phalanx. This is the distal part A3. So between A2 and A3 there is a cruciate pulley. You can see this cross right over here. That is a cruciate pulley or also called as the crisscross pulley. So there is one C1 over here between A2 and A3. Then there is C2 which is between A3 and A4. And A4 where does it lie? Central part of the middle phalanx. This is the middle phalanx central part. That is the A4. And then there is between A4 and A5. A5 is not mentioned again over here. But it is at the base of the distal phalanx. So this is your distal phalanx somewhere over here. A5 will be present. And between A4 and A5 there is the C3 crisscrossing pulley or the cruciate pulley. Now A4, A3 and A5, these three pulleys, they will cover the flexor profundus, right? This gray color tendon you can see, right? That is the flexor profundus is covered by these three pulleys. Now this is what we can see in the picture. Another thing that you might notice over here is this part of the pulley that is the volar part is slightly shorter compared to the dorsal part it fans out kind of right and also it is slightly concave so this shape of the roof being shorter than the base and it being slightly concave helps it to confirm as in when you flex the finger right the flex to the whole finger it won't pinch with the other pulleys it will form like a nice tunnel through which the tendon can pass and that is another feature of our pulley. So that was our anatomy of your annular pulley. Now let's move on to the function and we'll see what exactly is the function of the pulley. What does it do? So coming to the functions of your annular pulley, basically what it does is as the tendon passes right from your finger like this, it will just keep the tendon in place by putting kind of rings around it, right? Rings around your finger to keep the tendon in place. That is the basic function of the pulley. Now. It has some disadvantages to it and we'll see what they are. So as I mentioned over here, it keeps the flexor tendon close to the bone, simple. Then there is limits bowstringing. Now what is bowstringing? When you bend your finger or when you flex your finger, the tendon will tend to move away from it, right? It will tend to move away and you can see it's like a bow and a string. This makes the tendon more efficient because it is moving away from the axis so its momentum will increase and it can pull better but it limits bowstringing 
which reduces as i mentioned here that reduces the possible increase in momentum hence it will kind of make it less efficient because it is very close to the momentum it has to work harder so that is like a slight disadvantage but then it has its pros that is it enhances the tendon excursion the movement of the tendon will be so smooth it will be always in touch with the finger right there won't be any slipping away of the tendon because if there is bow stringing there is too much instability correct and also the work efficiency the forces will be transmitted really better so that is is the job of your annular pulley and another thing that we can add to this like a clinical aspect is the trigger finger so what happens in the trigger finger is basically when there is repetitive trauma on your flexor tendon this can cause nodules on the tendon itself and also it can lead to thickening of the annular pulley so what happens is when the tendon is there and if there is thickening of the pulley and there is nodule formed it won't glide smoothly right so when you flex it will kind of get locked underneath the pulley and then it will be really hard to extend so you need to slowly passively extend the finger so that the nodule slips and unlocks the trigger or a, a stuck flexor tendon right so that's what happens in the trigger finger and it is again related to the annular pulley clinically so that's why i thought i'll mention it over here so that's all we have for the function of the annular pulley now let's quickly summarize the topic so first we saw how the flexor mechanism has two components like the stability part and annular pulley was playing the major role in it and it has a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 major pulleys out of that the major ones is a2 and a4 if there is a surgery that has to be done the ones the pulleys that will be saved will be a2 and a4 Le rest can be kind of sacrificed and apart from that there is also palmar aponeurosis pulley which holds all the tendon all these all these pulleys together hold the tendon in place and the next thing we saw the function in function we saw it keeps the flexor tendon in place so the work efficiency is better although it reduces the momentum and we also spoke about trigger finger right so with that we finish off this topic that's all for today guys thank you for watching